Welcome back to forts. Now, in traditional forts, certain weapons, like the machine gun, the sniper, missiles, etc., like, you can upgrade them one time, right? Well, what if... Check this out. What if you had, like, a tech tree, and you could upgrade them multiple different ways? What if I tell you that this cannon could upgrade to either a Katusha rocket launcher, a 20 millimeter multi-cannon, artillery, or a railgun? Yeah. All that is possible, but the key, the key here is you're going to need technology, and these weapons are super, super expensive. So, let's go ahead and just, like, fire a few regular cannon rounds. Oh, wow, he actually just, like, hit a core right there. We're going to need a map where the ships have multiple cores, so we can test out as many weapons as possible. There we go. We've got five cores. That is definitely more like it. Now, I'm going to keep this cannon here. It looks like the enemy's... A mirrored ship. So the idea here is it's gonna take them longer to destroy us, but even more importantly, longer for us to destroy them. And you'd be like, wait a minute, don't you want to kill the enemy sooner? Yeah, normally yes. But we have a ton of cool weapons I want to show off. And look at this. We've got a factory which magna beam? We've got two of these things, a munitions plant, and one thing's not even named, so we're gonna start needing to get our technology and probably uh oh. We are currently under attack. So we need to survive their onslaught while at the same time building up our economy because a lot of these weapons are incredibly expensive. So definitely want that tech so I can get a munitions plant so I can build the cannon first and foremost. We're going to want to increase our metal storage because it is woefully low and basically return fire. Let's see. Oh. Try to snipe at us, I think, while the uh, cannon doors were open. But you can see that this little 20 millimeter cannon is not doing much of anything. All right. We'll get the upgrade, and then I want the munitions plant. Probably should have built that one first, honestly, but I love upgrading my mines. But we're definitely producing a pretty good rate of metal. I think we're producing an insane amount of power, and I think it's just because we have five cores. Five nuclear reactors would produce a decent amount of power, wouldn't it? We'll just kind of auto-fire back. I don't feel like I need to really aim it. I'm trying to eventually... Oh! That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Take out that cannon installation. Take away their offensive weaponry. Alright, we're almost there. It's time to sell this thing and put in... Since it's already a protected gun gondola... Or turret, rather. Once this munitions factory is done, we'll put the cannon in there. Ha! <laughs> they, they totally missed us. Not very good on their part. But yeah, it's, it's the main cannon that does this. I would love to see this mod expanded to where other weapon systems also get the same treatment. Here we go. Our first cannon. So we're increasing the weapon construction speed by 300% because we chose the architect here. I guess we could build other stuff quickly too, right? Maybe one of the things we'd want to do... Oh man, we should have built two of them. We'll put one right at the front. Okay, so... There we go. Do we want to go double cannon? So if we go the double cannon route, the tech tree says we're going to get to a railgun. Flat cannon, we get to artillery. Oh, actually, yeah. Artillery and then Katusha. Oh my god. And then this guy is shrapnel, which goes to 20 millimeter. I'm thinking let's try the flak cannon to get artillery. Actually, we could try that back here. Where would be a good spot? Like, I have to sell these guys. We'll try to get all three of them. I feel like this guy should be double to power to railgun at the front. Oh man, he actually got targeted. And you are going to be Katusha? So we need shrapnel. Yeah, like, I mean, I've never played where you can do this kind of stuff with forts. The weapons. Like, there's infinitely upgradable, but, like, this is just something entirely different. Alright, we're building some weapons, so we might as well just speed them up. 300%, love that boost. And let's start storing lots of power. What would be bad, though, is if, like, one cannon round hits right here, it'll chain reaction this entire rear of the ship. <laughs> Look at this thing. Okay, so this is... Well, oh, I don't want a sniper gun. Alright, let's, let's try this thing out, I guess. Oh! <laughs> what was that? That was the shrapnel? Oh, they just cloaked. Okay, so if we want to upgrade... Whoa, I think we hurt ourselves a little bit. We're going to need to add some of these in. This is like the mystery one. We'll put it right there. And then the magna beam, you can go where everybody else is going. And you... We want flak to artillery. 
And you're going big, right? So you're going the double cannon. Let's fire this again. Shrapnel! <laughs> it's too bad they cloaked. I, I wish I could change the guy. So he's not cloaking all the dang time. So this is artillery. Actually, this is flak first. <laughs> oh my god. That was pretty fantastic. Dang. Yeah, so this thing is like... Oh my god, that's... The flat gun is incredible! And this isn't even like the full thing. We can add shotgun, or we can go to artillery cannon? Wait a minute. This is some weird stuff. Alright, here's the thing we need, right? So... Speed it up. Okay, good. Now I should be able to... Multi-shot artillery. Shoots a phantom bullet. I want to go artillery cannon so that I can go to Katusha. And with you, I want to get 20 millimeter cannon plus. And with you, I want the power cannon. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 20 millimeter plus? No, that's artillery. And that was a poor shot. This is going to be 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter plus. Look at this. I don't even know what this is going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> there goes their turret. Oh, that's fantastic. They're using their Romulan cloaking device. Let's try the artillery. I really, really want to hit it. I don't want you to be cloaked. Oh, it's like splashed in the water. Man, these things take forever to reload. So maybe I could put... Build a little firing platform for a second one. Oh, we need to re-aim that one. Yeah, we're woefully short. All right, so this is a power cannon. Now, hopefully we have the gun arc. Oh! We need to convert these into doors. And back bracing, so that we can fire up over that. Gonna be kind of tricky. We might hit a joint there, and if we do, that'll be really, really bad. Fire the 20 millimeters! Rat. <laughs> oh my gosh, they can't really do anything about that. And I'm thinking we want to have multiple Katusha launchers over here. All right. Once they get uncloaked, we're gonna aim a little- just a little higher. Just a little higher. And there they are. Fire! Oh, those are hits. Those are gonna be hits. Pretty decent, but not amazing. So this is just regular artillery, not Katusha. Alright, power cannon. Now that I can aim a little bit above... Ooh! There goes the- oh, oh, oh. <gasps> And that's not even the railgun. Okay. Katusha. Mega artillery cannon? What is mega artillery? 20 millimeter turns to mega artillery. And you turn into railgun, but uh, since you're reloading, I think we can't use you? Pretty sure we- yeah, we have all of the technology. So let's just go ahead and boost these guys. What do you look like? Oh, that's triple barreled. That's a Katusha. And you're just a regular old one. So we'll go flak. And then we might have some time to go... Artillery. This is the... Architect is like the best. What is with the little snipers here? And another Katusha. Alright. I don't know what the Katusha is gonna be like. Oh! Look at all the rockets! Oh my god! Okay, Katusha is amazing. That's a straight up WMD as far as I'm concerned. What the... Oh yeah. Now that this is artillery, we gotta put... Uh, openings on the ceiling. Because <laughs> of course we do. Oh, that is looking good. Ooh, a triple artillery burst from a triple cannon. Does make sense. Now, railgun. We need 15,000 metal? Oh my god. Okay. Railgun must be super OP if it costs that much. Let's just create a situation whereby they could chain reaction my entire base. That's smart. Actually, not my entire base. Fire Katyusha! <laughs> Feel like the Russians in World War II, baby! We're gonna take Berlin with these things! Oh man, that's fantastic. Okay. Now... My metal... Still can't hold 15,000. Are you kidding me. We've done all the like other upgrades for these cannons like all of them and they weren't nearly this expensive. Like look how many more metal storages I had to create just to be able to <laughs> have store enough. 
Fire triples. Dude, we are carving a hole. There isn't... Let's see. If we look at the anatomy of our ship, we're hitting like right around here. So there's not really a core right there. <laughs> Romulan cloaking can't dodge rockets. 15,000 and then 30,000 energy. We have the energy. We need to save up the metal. Jeez, man. Look at this. So you actually need to aim up a little bit. With a triple barrel artillery. Is that too high up? Yeah. We're hitting a worthless part of the ship. Katushas are so sweet. I want to get like Rage Alert to make a map where there's like actual Katusha trucks. We, we could make a World War II one. It'll be fantastic. We're firing everything we got. Oh, that... Ooh! Big hit on the t Only 9,000 metal. Two-thirds of the way there. This might be one of the biggest guns we've ever m made. That's why I'm saving our little uh, active build boost, because we'll be able to upgrade this. Look at how long it takes to reload it. I'm just hoping we don't accidentally destroy our entire base. I'm gonna take down... Uh, there's just gonna be single doors here. Okay, there it is. Look at how long that's gonna take. Boost it. <laughs> it still takes forever. Fire the Katushas! Fire everything! Why didn't you fire? Oh, big gun did. Oh! Okay! Something blew up. Uh, I think it's the front. Yeah. It looks like the first two cores, I think? Unless that was the tower? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, it was the first two cores. This thing is still upgrading. Wait till you see what this looks like. Oh, <laughs> sniper round. We'll repair that. Dun, 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 dun. Here it is. The big daddy cannon. Now, it would be an absolute shame if I were to miss my first shot. So, uh oh. It's charging. I'm gonna zoom out the. No way! And I almost destroyed myself. Oh no, look at how long it takes to reload! Alright, we're just gonna try to milk some uh, XP here. So that I can get my active ability faster, because we might just want to build another railgun, like, right up here. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh god, we need to- uh oh. Well, maybe not that far out. Fire! Doo, doo, doo. I wish it went boom, boom, boom. Oh wow. We literally sheared off that part of the map. Dude, Katusha is so glorious. So very glorious, Tavarish. Railgun's ready to fire. We are waiting for this thing to uncloak though. But it fires pretty straight, I think. So I'm gonna try to... We're gonna open the doors and just aim straight. Power up the railgun! She can't take much more of it, Captain! Oh, wow. They try to get a little cheeky. And while the doors are open, they try to snipe us. Oh! It just cleaved through the tower. That's one of the most potent weapons I've seen. Oh, man, but like, it's destructive. We put it in a very dangerous spot, to be quite frank. Oh! We blew up the entirety of the ship. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, this has been fantastic. This weapon system, this mod pack, is glorious. Now, that was all from just the cannon. I'm curious. I'm gonna go looking to see if there's any of that for, like, some of the other weapon systems. Like, can you imagine that for, like, the swarm missiles to the ballistic missile? For the giant artillery piece? It could be really, really cool. So if you guys do want to see more forts, well, pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.